Bag worms are common in northern Texas, but here in the valley it's unique to find a community of these caterpillars. CBS 4's Stephen Seeley spoke to a homeowner whose property is being invaded by the insects. Stephen. A Harlingen man had his entire home's landscape destroyed under his nose and he hopes his story can warn others before it's too late. A cocoon or something, but then you look at this guy and he looks just like leaves hanging there, you know how they're disguised. Dennis Pagel has lived in Harlingen all of his life and has never encountered something like this. They do. I mean, they play possum. Dennis wasn't sure what he was dealing with until he researched and found out that caterpillars or bagworms had invaded his lawn and shrubs. Bagworms in Texas are seen more in the northern half of the state. They're known to attack pine trees, evergreens, and junipers. He lined his driveway with flowers and noticed a loss of foliage. Last year we noticed, you know, that some of them were dying out, didn't have a reason for it, didn't know what to look for or anything else. And I dug some of them up and replanted them with some new ones. But this year, the other side of the driveway here started dying out. To solve his bug problem, Dennis picked each cocoon he saw, but it wasn't enough. He had to replace his dead exorias with new ones. Arthur Wright with Advanced Pest Control came to the house to check out Dennis's unique situation. Some of the trees and some of the plants, you know, they take a, a full defoliation like that and they just, some of them can't come back from it. Wright explained that bagworms may have ended up in the valley by creating their own silk balloon and landed thanks to wind currents. Once an infestation begins in one place, it spreads to surrounding areas because the pests are localized. Usually in the winter, insects go into hiding which give plants a break. In the valley, spring begins as early as February and can lead to insects eating year-round. Um, there was no real downtime this winter, and so they just kind of come on strong again. You know, never, there wasn't a big kill-off. We didn't freeze. We didn't have any you know, extended cool weather. So pretty much all the bugs are going to be a little heavy this year. To eliminate bagworms, Wright says, with small problems, use the dentist method. Pick, throw, and kill. But with situations like this... It takes more action. And there's a range. I mean, you're looking at anywhere from probably 45 to 450, depending on how bad it is. <laughs> Advanced Pest Control says if you see something that looks like a pine cone, but it's not on a pine tree, then you need to start looking to invest in some insecticides. In the studio, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 and ValleyCentral.com.